Backyard Barbecues and Barbecuettes, man. It's your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And it's cold and I don't know what out here. You got to be crazy to be out here finding up a grill, man. So I salute y'all, man, out there in the snow getting it in. That's crazy. Um, And it's probably like, what, what's the temp? Probably like 50, 60 degrees. And I'm cold, plain and simple. So I'm standing by this right here, as y'all can see. Got Big Bertha running. Got it packed with wood just to get that good bed of cold. 43 degrees. And then up 43 degrees. I'm cold, right? But we're gonna let this thing settle in. We're gonna put these ribs on. Today I'm cooking uh, ribs and chicken, a case of chicken for my partner, man. He doing a uh, housewarming at his place. Should be doing a housewarming for me, but uh, whatever. Um, So yeah, I'm gonna start cooking over here once it's time to do the three, two, one method with the ribs. Once I wrap them up, I St. Louis them. Um, then I'm gonna have rib tips, which is the extra part of the meat. Um, the rib after you St. Louis it. And I'll show y'all that when I get ready to put them on the grill here in a minute. Um, and we're gonna go from there, man. I'm gonna show up at his house. Like I said, I'm gonna wrap, wrap the ribs up at the three hour mark in aluminum foil. Then we're gonna make our way over there. And then uh, put Big Bertha out there for sight. Everybody wanna see the grill talking. It's about 40 people, whatever the case may be. So I'm just gonna do these seven slab of ribs and a case of chicken for them. That's all I gotta do, no size, no nothing. Easy day. Shake the hand and keep it moving. Like I said, we'll be back in a minute, y'all. When I put these ribs on the grill, we'll talk. About to put these ribs in here. Let me open this up real quick and we're gonna talk about these uh, St. Louis ribs real quick. How you make a regular country rib, St. Louis. All right, real quick, y'all. If you take a look at this rib right here, Notice it's perfectly cut, both sides. Let's go ahead and put it in there while I'm talking. Let me go ahead and put a couple of these in as I'm talking. But uh, yeah, I just took a regular, regular, regular rib from the store. Store bought, take a knife to them and slice them up. Um, I know I did a video once before, but I'll do one again. So this, here's what I do with the extra meat, right? That's the top of the rib when you, after you cut it, right? When you're St. Louis in it. And I just stick them on there, man. And eventually I'll make them rib tips. So I just stick those on the grill. They won't be on that long. Then I put them in a pan of au jus. And then uh, let them do their thing. And that's probably the best meat because it's the most tender. If you know what you're doing. But anyway, we'll be back, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the grill. Like I said, we're doing a three, two, one method today. Um, I, I do have the uh, the cracked chicken. Uh, it's seasoned up, sitting in the refrigerator right now, ready to uh, transport to the next location. And uh, I'm not gonna give you that secret on this video, but I'm gonna give it to you on another one, just cause I already uh, seasoned it up. You know, uh, time is money when you're dealing with money. So uh, when I come back, uh, probably on uh, one of my future videos, I'm gonna show y'all what cracked chicken is. And this is not something I made up. It's just two seasonings mixed together. You probably didn't seen them on my video. But either way, I'm gonna send them, I'm gonna show y'all, and then we're gonna go from there. I want you to try it. Uh, once you taste it, I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, man, this is crazy. You wouldn't believe it. But anyway, we'll be back, y'all, um, at the three hour mark. Hey, what's good, y'all? This your boy, man. We back. We live on site right now. We're getting it in. Um, Oh, let me show you real quick. I got the ribs. Um, had to transport them, so I went ahead and put them in the warmer, keep them going. You know what I'm saying? Got the rib tips on the bottom. I'll show you when I open them up. I just loaded up a case of chicken. Yeah. You see that? Mm-hmm. We in business, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna see what happens, man. We're gonna make it do what it do. Like I said, all I'm doing is uh cooking chicken, chicken and ribs, and then uh the rest of it is everything, man. Uh I don't know, supposed to be 40 people here. We're gonna see what happens. Y'all wish me luck. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, man. I'm gonna slice these ribs up, man. Just put a little sauce on them. Uh they asked for them. Got this chicken, moving it down. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. I got a stab of ribs right here. Hold on real quick. 
quick. We grab this slab. I can go ahead and set it. I got two slabs left. Yeah. Y'all notice these long tunnels, man. Well as when you got a, uh, a big smoker, man. They don't burn your hands up. Yeah. Put them back in there. Like I said. There we go. At the site, y'all. We'll holler. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, man. We back. About to shut it down. Uh, everything is everything, man. I got ribs, chicken. Let's see. We got rib tips, um, drumsticks. You know, I separated them from the thighs. You got thighs all in here. Yeah. We don't mess around. We got them ribs sliced up. Your boy back at it. Anyway, this your boy, Mr. B. Show you big Bertha how she get down. Let me give you the money shot. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go buy your Shirley fam. How that's your boy.